class four then for race set number three. 1800 metres is the trip once more. Headed by a couple of horses who are dropping in class. Bullish Glory finds himself in class four for the first time. Joe Moreira from Barry 11. Happy Rocky drops back into this uh, grade. Hey, Ren. Runner up course and distance, two starts back behind Let us, uh, sorry, Ever Laugh even. Ho Ho Fields, another one dropping in class. Ever Laugh, that win for him came two starts back. Play it. Umberto Rispoli, welcome back, Umberto. His first ride back from injury. Pollen Luck probably go forward from barrier two. And Aero Luminance also has a bit of speed and pace from barrier four. Polly Malak might potentially end up taking up the lead. Let us wins a chance of rolling forward, as is premium champion. Now, the booking of Victor Wong for Casper Founds for the first time. A lot of trainers are utilising young Victor. He's got his confidence up with a win. I wouldn't be surprised if this led. In fact, I'm going to predict that that might happen and make it the long shot, but we'll have to wait and see. Here's uh, Bullis Glory. He's going here nicely enough, you can see. Just getting his head up a little bit in, in his work, though. He's, uh, he was being restrained in this particular piece of work. Joe Marrero will take them out. He's been downgraded, so his last run was quite eye-catching. Tony Cruz stable is in form at the moment. Uh, Hay run down the back straight. He runs well, but uh, hasn't managed to get that uh, elusive win on the board. He's come up uh, favourite again, once again, in this particular race. Nash Royla did uh, ride him last start. Ho Ho Feel, the old boy, uh, when I say old, he's only six. Seems like he's been around forever. <laughs> uh, one of those ones that uh, looks older than he is. No, he's no, just uh, he's one of those ones that has been around for a while, but uh, he's still working well. He's been up all season. All right, OK. You know what I meant, right? We yeah, yeah, exactly yeah. what you meant, Paul. Yeah. Let's uh, move on, though, to <laughs> Umberto Rispoli back in that saddle. He'll be riding. Play it. Umberto, you rode Play It on the weekend. That was a good effort at Happy Valley last time. Yeah, definitely, yes. He's, um, his horse is a... Uh, he always can run a decent race. Um, last time, um, I wasn't I wasn't surprised about his performance. His horse is improving in the time, and uh, it depends. It's just he's in good mood. If he's in good mood, he can run a, a very good race. Two of his better runs here have been at Happy Valley. Do you think he can bring that form to Shatin? Well, the the, the point is, Shatin has a long straight, which I think he deserved that. So Happy Valley, it was a, it was a good effort last time, but probably the track of Shatin is going to help him a lot. Let's talk about you. A couple of weeks ago here you had a fall at the trials, collarbone injury, but you're back riding. Tell us about that process to return. Well, uh, yeah, it was, um, it was a nasty fall. I found straight away it was, my collarbone was broken and, um, yeah, it was just, you know, keeping the smile and uh, try to come back uh, straight away. Uh, when, I see, when I see the Dr. Tong uh, the day after, I mean, on the same day, the day after he was... Uh, positive to give me a surgery, put a plate and screws, and he says it's the only way to recovering fast. So um, it was, uh, the, the operation was very quick, very good. The plate is on the, in, the right, in the right spot, so everything is fine so far. Uh, the physio is going well. Uh, I'm helping myself every day, go running, gym, cryotherapy. So I want to try to get back myself 100% for Sunday. Yeah, and play it's a good ride to come back with as well. 1,800 metres, stepping up in trip for him. Take a look at some of the others. Uh, Bullish Glory, so we touched on him dropping in class, as is Happy Rocky and um, Ho Ho Phil as well, of course. I made him a horse to follow, Bullish Glory, off the back of this performance. Former Italian galloper who was a winner of three of six starts. He varied on surfaces, a heavy track, good track, was able to win on both, uh, varying distances as well. Uh, this was a really good run from him closing off. And I like the fact that he's now dropped down in grade. His run prior to this, two behind Jolly Jean, where they ran 146.71. Jolly Jean broke their hearts. He ran good in that too. And I think he's just coming to hand and he's hard to beat for me. Yeah, I've got one to beat him, but I think he's going he's gonna to run well. All right. Yeah. OK, that's a bullish glory. Ever laugh, won two starts back. We're going to have a look at his last start effort, though, finishing third because premium champions involved here as well. Yeah, this is the one I like, uh, Ever Laugh. He's going to get a perfect run from barrier number one. He'll just be in behind. Last time he was over the 1,800 metres, he won it. Uh, 2,000 metres, it was a good finish. Audacity was really well backed on this day, and uh, Japon's is quite well rated as well. So it was a, a finish between the three of them. Uh, just came to the end of it. I think 1,800 looks ideal for the source. I think it'll be tough to beat. Premium champion had a, a fairly tough trip there. He is a horse that's won at Chartin in the past. We've seen him win at the Valley too, making mid-race moves. The booking of the apprentice here has uh, got me very interested in him. 
All right, OK, so that's going to figure in Brett's numbers. What figures for you, though, Paul? No, if a laugh, I don't think he's going to get the perfect run. Zach Purden knows the horse very well. The 1,800 metres is ideal. I think he's the, the best of the day, especially if he stays at $4.20. I think it's a good price. Bullis Glory, we saw that, and he's been downgraded. So he'll run well. Aero Luminance with a very light weight. And uh, Hay Run, he'll start favourite. But again, I think he'll be a little bit of a false favourite. But he still hasn't won from his 13 starts. So he went 7, 1, 12 and 3, but I like the 7. I'll go with Bullish Glory, just like the way he's found a little bit of form at his last two. Looked a decent enough horse in Italy. Gets the drop in great. Has all the weight to carry and an awkward barrier draw. So there's a couple of little obstacles to overcome. But he looks ready now. Premium champion of him, a long shot. Could lead with the claim on, be hard to catch. Could sit back as well. Claims there. We know it's gold. I think he'll run a bit of a race at a price. Polymere, luck and never laugh. One, six, ten, seven. I'm going to play the QQP one, six, ten. And you can have a little ichi way on the six if, if you want as well. There you go. I'm going to go with play it. Winning return from Birdo there. Each way price as well is $10 at the moment. That's race number three.